Hi friends, welcome back to another video at Squat Skills. In today's video, we'll be discussing about a very important block of scratch. You might have guessed it by the thumbnail. You guessed it, the my blocks, the pink category my block blocks. So this block is not pretty easy to understand by many but in fact it can be the easiest block that you have been introduced to and while this block might be a bit hard to understand at first but don't worry when you join me i have formed the simplest ways that you can learn all about the my blocks block so first i've got my scratch cat over here We'll take the green flag. As we know, whenever a project starts, it is at zero, zero in both positions X and Y. So if I move my cat to another position and I want it back to zero, zero, it can be a bit of a mess. So first I need to take it, and then I need to type it again. But that's when we can use the my blocks. So let's go see how we can use it. So, we need to go to my blocks. We need to take the make a block option. There, we can type any name we want. So, as this block is going to help us to move to the x and y zero, let's name it move to zero. And now we can click OK. And then as soon as we click OK, we can see two different things on our screen. The first one is define the particular block that we just made and another block that we just made. So let's see how we can start. So when we're defining the block, what we what this block should do, that's what we're going to try to make it. So we are defining this block as it should go to x0 and y0. So let's see what happens when we define the block to go to a certain position. So when green flag clicked, we can put the block move to 0. And let's start this. And it just went to 0. Simple, right? So, I hope you understood the first stage. The, define, the definition block helps us to make things easier. Instead of typing, taking the block, we just need a click to, ha uh, to go to zero. Isn't it simply wonderful what, what the my box can do? Now, I'm not ending over here. There is something else that you might need to know and you might have been waiting for it to know. So, when you go to make a blog, there are some things over here. Let's, let's in this, um, the next project, we will learn how to use two of those. So, in this, what we're going to do is, when we in flag clicked, we want to move um to about 200 steps so after it moves 200 steps i wanted to come back so we need another one two but i can just do a thing we also need some break in the middle so we can just add the wait one second and duplicate this and add a minus over here so let's try how this works out Okay, so it went to the position and it worked out how it just need to work uh, just needs to work out. Now if I want to change this to say 100 and this also minus 100. Let's see how this works. It's working perfectly. But the thing is I I'm writing it continuously which is causing some delay of time that's why we can use the my blocks over here so what we can do is we can take and write move to we can write steps colons we can add add a input this one and inside that we can type steps and then we are going to again add a text which will which we can label delay we'll add an input and we'll write delay in that yeah now let's click on the okay now what this forms is this 
define block and another block over here. So, um, but the input blocks actually make space to input some information. And the uh, text label block helps us give some space for writing any text in the between, as you can see. Now, to define it, we'll use the thing that we just used right now. Now what we're going to do is, we are going to put steps in both of these and delay in the wait for a second. Now for the second move step, as it, it was minus, we want it to stay minus when we put the steps too. That's why in the operators, green operators category, take the minus operation block and add a zero before the steps block. Now this will make our form negative. Now, as we're done with defining the block, let's go and try the block. So as per our instructions, move to, we can type any number we want and that just once. And the delay, we can just write the seconds that we wanted to wait. Let's try this out. Oh, it just worked. And the best part is you don't need to have to write two times, just once. And you got the best result. And who told we can stop right here? We can go even further by adding some color. Why don't we add the color in the my blocks? So edit, we need to add a text label saying color. Add an input. Before that, let's add some colons. Because it's an option to write. Now in the colons, we can write, I mean in the input, we can write color. Now when we type the color, we can just click OK. Now to define the color, what we need to do is go to the looks category, looks purple category. Over here, what we can do is we need the change color effect block. Put it before the, after the delay and then use the color block to put it in the number area. So we're just going to put it there. I'm going to get rid of that one and go to my blocks. And we have a big trunk now. Yeah, so we I want to type 200. Let it delay for two seconds. And we can type literally any number we want. I'm taking 75. Let's see how this works. It went front. It came back by changing its color. So, I hope you understood the main theme of the MyBlocks category. I try to show you the most easiest example that I could and in the best way. So, for, if you have any doubt or anything that you want to ask me, please do comment it down. I'm always there. And um, if you think this video was good, go ahead and give it a like. And for more easy videos like this, subscribe to my channel and share this video to spread awareness, please. So, hope you guys had fun watching this simple video about the blocks. And bye. So, scratch on people.